I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Actually, not yet. My dad was in the service. Are you done now? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boy should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Are you giving me the silent treatment? I'd understand if you were. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. I was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac, and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before.
Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Some days I... I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe. But what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. No one told me that. I just... feel it. Sure, it's not just, you know. It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Getting beat up and having no friends. That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's, that's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. 
I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. So, when were you gonna tell me about the guitar? Oh shit, you found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. since I was up here. Should I be, I don't know, freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? And touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid, can you imagine the shit we would have caught from dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have said something earlier. I didn't. I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah. Still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Nope. 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 Super nope. 
Cool. A murder barn. Will we, though? Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. Hey, bro. Wanna get wasted at the old mine? How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? The real monster here is underage drinking. They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. Alex, why? Why didn't you? No point in blaming anyone. We just gotta find him. Fast. He's right. The only thing that matters now is finding Ethan. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area.
so did Ethan? Oh man. I think there's like a side door back there. I don't know. I guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. You figured that out from a comic book. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. Anne, you okay? I'm sorry to call you at work. I just came home from the doctor. I couldn't wait for you to come home. Baby doll? I, I'm pregnant, Jed. Have I got some good news for you. What? Go with red. It's always red. Kind of want to push all the buttons. Also, kind of scared to push any of the buttons. Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Ugh. Worse than sleeping on the ground. Nope. Thanor doesn't battle any bed bugs. So much stuff just left behind. I wonder how you open this thing. Is there a button around somewhere? Yeah, it was worth a shot, I guess. Ethan must have passed through some other way. Let me see what I can figure out. confident this is going to work. Oh yeah, these look safe. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs.
We passed caution like an hour ago. Okay, I'll stay out. But not because you told me to. Wasn't in the comic. Not in the comic. The silo. We're getting close. Reminds me of the snake thing in Ethan's comic. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Worth a shot. Heads up! You figured out the door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Will wonders never cease? Not in the comic. So this place was a death trap when it was operational too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hi, scary old building. Please don't collapse while we're inside you. Thanks. Wasn't in the comic. I hope Alex is right about this comic thing. We're burning minutes here. I hope so too. What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. We close? 
Think so. Ethan! 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 Wait. Hold on. Here. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it, it's no good. We're too heavy. Shit. What about me? Alex. Uh, are you sure? Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? Honestly? No. That feeling makes sense. Do me a favor, though. See if you can breathe. Great. As long as you keep doing that, everything's gonna be fine. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady's fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. You got this, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me till we're both safe.
Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. It doesn't matter. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. I can do this. Just like Ninth Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, well, some stories are true. Like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, alright? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. Do you think the log will break? I don't know. But if it does, I am gonna hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay.
That's it. Come on. There you go. I got you. I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before until he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh. Then the fifth time... He cared about everyone. 
he was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is, he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. Well, I didn't. I didn't hear Gabe make the call, but he told us he got through. Well, if Gabe said something, then I'm inclined to believe him, Mac. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about... And we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son. When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying, pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And okay, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like, it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. Watch your mouth, Mac. Ryan, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone, out. 